So you can see how beautiful PyTorch is for this, right? Because like if you try to do this with some static graph thing like like classic TensorFlow, um, well, I tried, right? Like one of the key reasons that we switched to PyTorch at this exact point in last year's class was because Jeremy tried to implement teacher forcing in Keras and TensorFlow and went even more insane than he started, right? And I was just, like, it, it was weeks of getting nowhere. Um, and then I, I uh, literally on Twitter, uh, I think it was Andre Kapathy I saw announced, uh, said something about, oh, there's this thing called PyTorch that just came out and it's really cool. And I tried it that day. By the next day, I had teacher forcing work. And so like, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, and like all the stuff of trying to debug things, it was suddenly so much easier and this kind of, you know, dynamic stuff is so much easier. So this is a great example of like, hey, I get to use random numbers and if statements and stuff. So yeah, so here's the basic idea is at the start of training,